Hey guys, Mike Dawes here. Um, I'm at the North American Guitar Showroom here in Hemel Hempstead in London. And what I just played was a section of my arrangement of the John Mayer classic slow dancing in a burning room. Now it's in standard tuning uh, and I'm sat here on a couch, not really plugged into an amp or anything, but the eagle-eared among you may have noticed that there was some reverb and delay coming from somewhere. And this is actually coming from something called a Tonewood Amp. Now a Tonewood Amp is a very cool little device that I have stuck to the back of my guitar here. It's stuck on with magnets and it vibrates these lovely effects, reverb, delay, Leslie speaker stuff, wah-wah, chorus, all that kind of stuff through the back surface of the guitar and out of the sound hole. So my guitar itself is actually generating these sounds. Now, there is a video on YouTube from a few summer NAMs ago. Uh, NAM is a little event in Nashville where loads of music nerds and cowboy hats get together and talk about banjos. But I was there with my friend Jake Allen from Michigan, and we sat on a couch similar to this one in, a, in our Airbnb and played this song with our Tonewood amps. And uh, lots of people have seen that video online. It's quite a popular video. So I thought I'd break down the effects that I was using in that song. So perhaps if you were to own a Tonewood amp, or perhaps you already own a Tonewood amp, if you don't own one, what are you waiting for? They're the best thing ever. Um, if you are to own a Tonewood amp, um, you can program in these effects and you'll be able to play uh, this song the same way that I just did. So basically what I've got is the delay patch, which is sort of bank number four on the Tonewood amp when you pull it straight out of the box. And, uh, and I've turned the, the gain and volume to settings that are appropriate for this guitar. In fact, in this showroom right now, I didn't actually have my Tonewood amp on me, so we just found one that they have and I plugged it in stock settings and this is what it sounds like gain and volume wise so it all worked out very very easy straight out of the box but what i need to talk to you about is uh, to do with the second knob of the three knobs here on the tonewood amp uh, the second knob is when you choose your effects parameters and there's three parameters per effect and in the case of the delay bank or the delay patch rather uh, you can choose the speed of the delay so the tempo you can choose the feedback, which is how long the delays go on for. And the third uh, knob, which is really cool that they've incorporated this into the delay, is how much reverb you add to the delay. So there's reverb, speed, and feedback. So if you see right here, uh, by clicking in the knob, you can uh, actually change uh, these settings and cycle through speed, feedback, and reverb. The speed for slow dancing in the burning room, ladies and gentlemen, is set to 15 on the dial. You'll hear that if I change the speed and go up to say 20, it's much slower. So the higher the number, the slower the delay. If I go down to say 10 on the speed dial here, the delay is much faster, okay? So anyway, that is 15 for slow dancing in a burning room. If I click the knob in, we go to feedback. Feedback is 13. 
If I were to turn the feedback down, there would be very little delay repeats at all. If I turn the feedback all the way up, let's see what happens if I put it on 25. It'll start swelling into itself and become like an Icelandic post-rock anthem, which is very cool, but not what we want for this song. This is 13 on the feedback knob. If I click that in again one more time and we get to the reverb, I was using a lot of reverb just then in that clip. I've got it set to 20 out of 25. The knobs range from 0 to 25. And you'll notice that on your device, if you play with it, the more reverb you have on the, the delay, the more the delay sort of turns into a nice wishy-washy textural effect, which is really cool because they've rightly programmed it so the delay goes into the reverb and not the other way around. So the more reverb you have, the more blend we get. So the settings for slow dancing on what I just played and the video with Jake Allen that's on YouTube, searchable, perhaps it's in the description, I don't know, um, is reverb 20, speed 15, and feedback 13. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy playing with your tone wood amp. Um, perhaps you've uh, found one at a guitar showroom such as this one. I believe they have some here actually on some of these guitars. Um, yeah, uh, enjoy. It's a really, really fun device. I take it everywhere with me except for this trip, funnily enough. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy the music and um, see you on the other side. Take care, guys. Bye.